Georgia's gun laws are permissive and they have been getting looser. For example, you no longer have to obtain a permit to carry a concealed weapon in the state. And Georgia does not have a red flag law, despite questions about whether law enforcement's contact with the shooter should have indicated that they should have taken some action like taking guns away. However, because the alleged shooter is 14 years old, he would not have been able to buy an assault rifle on his own. So someone else must have obtained it from, for him or he must have gotten it from someone else. Because this is a Republican majority state, most Republicans are hostile to traditional forms of gun control. And so those who have wanted to see changes in past years have begun to focus on what they call safe storage. The idea is that the state would give a tax incentive for you to buy a gun lock or a gun safe or to take a safety course. And there were bills that proposed to do that that were pending in the legislature this year, and they did move forward some, but none of those bills were passed into law. A committee met Thursday to try to discuss ways forward on safe storage. That meeting was already scheduled before what happened here at the high school. But there are real issues on whether Republicans and Democrats can agree on an approach to reach some sort of compromise. Right?